I did have to change the chimney for the um, 8930 due to the bigger sides. But other than that, it fits into the socket and the uh, voltages are the same. So anyway, we're just going to cure down right quick with the 8930 tube in it. Should be all tuned up. And uh, let's see what we get. Audio. Audio. Hello, 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 hello. Test, 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 test. Hello, 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 hello. That's with the watt meter on peak. Hello, 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 hello. Plate current. Audio, audio, audio. Everything in parameters. Amp running okay. Tube running good. Audio, audio. One watt dead key, about 10 watt swing going into it. Bias set pretty low. Dead key in 50. Peak and hello, 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 hello. Audio swinging to about 850. That's the most I've ever seen out of a Pride. So I'm going to say that's a win. Putting the 8932 into a Pride KW1, which is basically the same thing as a Pride DX300. That's it. Goodbye.